Hey YouTube, it's MDX here. Um, so yesterday I did an update video, update video for my for my Pelman Hornet. Pelman Hornet. And um, I got last, I got, well I think I got last, but it's because I went X and 4. Because freaking, I don't know, I was going all day. I went from the city, 10 seconds later, I got home. 10 seconds, no, sorry, I got home, 10 seconds later, my friends pulled up, and I was going for first choice. So I went to first choice, and uh, <coughs> I got there, I was freaking exhausted, but I'm like, okay, let's go for it. I was exhausted. And I was even running the build, I'm not sure you. I was running a Faro build, and I didn't have all the cards for it until like mid tournament, and then everything just went. Shit for me, it's not a good day for me. I spent forty dollars on pack, like fifteen dollars on packs, and my friend, because once I buy one pack, I cannot stop. So that's why I never buy packs. I just buy singles most of the time. And so yeah, so this is my Liquier um Soul Swap deck, my Talon Soul Swap deck, Liquier Soul Swap deck. Um, I'm gonna go through my choices as I go along and go through my necklace. So here we go. This is my starter. I run. Um a uh, girl across the app. It was the I was leaving this before my presenter. But with um but then I just had a uh, lady girl across the gap works more in sync with the rest of my deck. And I had the grade three lineup. Four Silver Thorn uh Dragon Tamer, the queer. I cannot wait for reverse. Once reverse comes out, oh my god, yes, I cannot wait for some thorn. For you guys who don't know, because I know a lot of people who don't know her effect, it's limit break four, count blast three. Call uh, up to one of each grade one, two, three, and zero from your soul to the field. And for every card, just call from soul, not just by her, but by any effect, she gains 3k. Um, next, we run. Three Nightmare Dollhouse. Seven Great Threes is, I think, good enough. And I'm just like. It's just for you guys who don't know, because a lot of people don't know her effect, and people don't watch out for her effect. When she her, when her attack hits, hits, she soul swaps. She kind of one pistol. And then you can just, like, re set up another row for, with her effect. It's just, like, really stupid. Annoying to other people. I love the I love slow swapping. Now next we got four bar service your 10k beat stick. Basically just your beat stick. That's pretty much it. Next four nitro jugglers. You want to get cards into your soul to to abuse the shit out of uh, liquid or your starter skill or analysis skill. Next. Three jumping jump. Now I don't really beast tamers because I don't think they're really viable in a soul swap deck because you need to have another one in soul. And it's just like I don't. I prefer jumping Jill in a soul swap deck because she gets her stack off when she soul swaps and she goes 12k. Just, I think it's more viable. And then for my last grade one, they got one. Um, Dancing princess of the night sky. Basically, I just have her in here just so if I don't have like um Great two or rage one I need in my soul if after nitro drive this fact I just kind of blast one put in the soul Next I have four per regard people I see people running three, but I feel like four is, is better because you need to have this have like the protection in the deck Next, a staple for every family deck. People on, some people on three, some people on four. It's basically some people, uh, players' opinions or some players' opinions. I run four because four seems to be more consistent for me because I need to get it into the soul. I need to. It's better to ride it first turn. And but what her effect is when she call when she's called from the soul when she's called to the field from anywhere. You soul swap. You take one card from the field, put in the soul, take another card out. You can t you can take this. You can put one card in the soul and take it back out, so you can get like, effect off again. 
I do that sometimes. That's from around three nightmare bunny. Basically she does the same thing as Alice except when she's when she boosts a successful successful attack count but one still swap. And then three barking uh three dark metal bicorn. Basically AK vanilla. Uh now the reason I run him is because cross cards are out or a thing and seventeen will not cut it. All they have to do cross rides have to do is drop a five K. But with uh bicorn they have to drop a ten K. And it's easier to uh it hits the number it hits uh numbers that you need to hit. So like supported by uh freaking if she supports if he supports um sorry, uh sick early morning. Uh Alice uh is an eighteen, so your opponent if he should she if she's attacking cross ride, your opponent will have to drop like an eighteen, like drop a ten K to so block. If not, then I'll get still swap out. For triggers, I'm on five draws. This deck does not have a lot of draw power, so you want your draw power. Yeah, five crit. Five crit is really good because um, you just uh, it's it's power and you like power. Now next, four heals, basic, I run two Popcorn Boy, two Candy Clown, because I like both, so I run both. Next, yeah, you, uh, you take in two stands. Now two stands is like, now the reason I take in stands is because from Alice, and also because you put in the soul and unflip one damage. That's the only reason I run stands, two stands. It, and it so far it's been working for me. I mean, yeah, yesterday in the tournament the, the deck sucked because I wasn't running. Because to be honest, guys, far I realized far is not that good. I just don't like far. Uh, and I feel like I was playing my friends yesterday with this after the tournament with this deck, and I was doing better than I was doing without with far. Uh, and I feel like this deck is like freaking better. Trust me, guys. Just because yesterday was a fluke, it was a was a fluke. Um. So yes, tell me what you think in the comments below. I'll see you guys later.